Hi friend, welcome to Lemon Yellow Art Studio. My name is Tia and I'll be your art teacher today. So let's get started. So here's a bit of a closer look at our project today. I absolutely love the glitter and just the colors in today's art project. So before we get started though, I'm gonna go over some of the supplies you're gonna need. So we are going to start off with a watercolor palette. I love this Yarka watercolor palette. Then you'll need a big bristle brush and a pair of scissors. These ones are pretty great. We'll need some green painter's tape, some water, a glue stick, some silver sparkly glue, a Sharpie, and a water-based gray marker. Oh, and a white paint pen. I love this Posca brand. You'll need an orange piece of paper to print off this fox outline. And then you'll need one, two, three, four strips of gray paper. And of course, some watercolor paper. To start, we're gonna tape up our watercolor paper with the green painter's tape. You can just tape it right onto your table. I have a piece of board, but that's not necessary. And then we're gonna start to create our shadows. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush into my purple paint. You want it quite a bit of like water in that paint. And then I'm gonna create some lines starting where those little markers are. And I'm just gonna create a straight line. Notice how my lines are going in the same direction and I'm just kind of using the edge of my, my paintbrush. I'm holding it kind of near the end so that I can make a more accurate straight line. So you're just gonna do that for the four markers that I set out. And voila! Then we've created our shadows. So those need to dry. And while those are drying, we're going to cut out our fox. Now this is a bit tricky, I know. So if you wanted to ask mom or dad or grandma or whoever to help you, they can maybe cut out the legs for you if you ask them really, really nicely. And then once we have cut out our fox, notice how there's a bit of like black outline. I don't want that. So I'm gonna flip over my fox so that it's nice and clean. And then we can start to color in our fox. So we're gonna take our black marker or Sharpie and I'm gonna color in the ears a little bit. I'm gonna add a little dot for an uh, eye. And then our fox has dark paws and dark legs or fur fur going on the legs so that's what we're going to color in and then the tail is also has like a dark dark end so i'm just going to create some little lines kind of creating fur like a furry texture with my sharpie and then we're going to take our white paint marker and we're going to do the same thing, but just kind of along the belly of our fox and connecting um, the black at the bottom of our legs as well. And just like that. So your fox should look more like a fox now, now that we've colored it in. So our paper should be dry and we can go ahead and glue our fox. Wait, no, we're not gonna glue our fox on. Oh, yes, we are gonna glue our fox on. <laughs> so go ahead and take your glue stick and just kind of apply the glue to the back of the fox. I love this purple glue because you can see where you're putting it and it will dry clear, which is really awesome. So I want to put my fox kind of at the bottom here. You don't have to. If you want to put your fox in a different spot, that's great. You just don't want it to be on top of any of the shadows where they start because that's where our trees are going to go, right? So now you can grab your gray strips. They're going to be really tall and that's okay. We're going to cut them later once we've glued them. So you just want to kind of put them in the areas where the shadows start and you kind of want to cover 
the start of the shadows with our trees. And then we're gonna glue our trees down. So here's a little trick. You wanna use your glue stick like a marker and create a strip of glue and then just put your paper right over top and really press it down nicely so it doesn't start to curl or anything like that. And you're just gonna do that with all of the strips of paper. So notice this one I cut a little bit shorter and I'm not putting glue over that green tape. Make sure you don't do that. You don't wanna tape it to the tape because then it's gonna be hard to take off. Now we wanna grab our gray water-based marker once we're all done taping. And I also want a ruler because I'm not the best at drawing straight lines, so you can do that. And then I'm gonna create some circles or ovals and kind of fill them in with like another smaller oval. And this is gonna be kind of the knots in our tree. So notice how there's sometimes those kind of really bumpy parts of, of our tree. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna use my ruler to help me create some really nice straight lines for kind of the texture for our bark on our tree. So I'm just going to use that as a guide and then notice kind of how I stopped where the circles are and then I drew a little round shape right over um, the sides of our our trunk just like that and you're just going to repeat this process for all of your trees until we've drawn our bark So this is what my trees look like up at the top. You can see I kind of snipped off some of the rest of that paper, but I still left a bit so that it kind of the trees disappear above the page. Perfect. So now we've drawn all of our bark and we'll be ready for the next step. So we're going to add our footprints so that our fox doesn't look like just he's just floating so notice how I'm using just the tip of my brush to apply some purple paint and then I took a little paper towel and I just sort of dabbed the paint so it wasn't so dark so it's a bit lighter yeah perfect and oh yes we're going to create some branches too because our trees look a little dull so you can just use your gr same gray marker and create some curvy sticky branches coming kind of coming out they can be short they can be long they can have other branches coming out of them but you just kind of want to put them in random spots and kind of fill up some of that white space that's also happening just like this and I want to make some of them a bit thicker so they're not as flimsy so you can kind of go over them and draw them a little thicker kind of where they meet the tree Perfect. And now we're ready for some glitter glue, everyone's favorite part, yay. So I love this silver glue because it feels like frost and we're gonna, that's exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some frost to our trees. So I'm just squirting a little bit of glue and kind of like you drawing the glue onto my my bark on the tree so I'm just squirting a little glue and then I'm kind of not squirting and just using the tip of the glue to kind of spread my glittery glue all over so you can decide you can put some glitter glue kind of on the bottoms of the trees for some maybe there's a heap of snow there and they can kind of go right on the branches it's really wherever you want to put your glue there's no no right or wrong and you could even put some in the footprints of our fox, just like so. And there we go, look how pretty that is. Oh, 
the glitter just adds such a nice texture and sheen and it just is sparkly and looks like it's very frosty out so there we have it now you're ready to take all of that green tape off and see your finished product that's kind of the most satisfying part so you kind of have to just be careful pull the tape away from the painting so that you're not ripping the pages accident accidentally Ah, oh, and there we go so notice how there's a bit of like a space between the shadow and the edge of that page I want to cut that off so that the shadows disappear right past that page so you can just take a pair of scissors and just cut very carefully maybe you can ask an adult to help you with this part too so it's nice and flush so that the shadows go right off the page and they don't just randomly stop and then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom You don't have to do this part obviously it's I just like it because it look, feels a lot more finished and there's a bit of a close-up we're all done yay I'd love to see your project so please send me a photo comment below or send me an email or an Instagram Facebook message and yeah I hope you had fun like I did see you in the next project mm -hmm.